and welcome back. We had a slight change of scenery. I'm trying to get the lighting down as best as I can right now. I know in the last couple videos it was a little bit bright, so I'm trying. But anyway, I am coming to you today with a fashion video, basically about how to turn my wasted denim into really cute shorts. I have done this with uh, probably four or five pairs of pants that I found just at Goodwill or a thrift store. I got these for $6.99. These are the brand Jordash. Let's see the size. It says that they are a size 5, 6 short. Now, I am, I have about a size 25 or 26 waist. So I am not a size five. I'm usually a size zero, one, or two in that sort of range. So the sizing is always weird with older um, clothes, like definitely in thrift stores. I don't really look at the size. I just hold it up and see if I wanna try it on and then I can try it on um, and see if it fits. And I'm also gonna show you basically what they look like on normally and then what to look for if you're trying to find a good pair of shorts, but it's a little hard seeing the vision whenever you're wearing a pair of really ugly jeans. Just a couple of things that you will need to do the uh, pant to short process. A serrated knife, it's pretty basic, just a little knife with uh, little teeth on it. A pair of large scissors, you don't really need anything crazy, just something that's gonna cut through denim. And the last thing I have is just a cutting board. Um, this is just so you don't mess up any surface or anything like that while you are creating little rips and um, all of that jazz. If you are uh, ready to watch me chop up these pants, grab your drink. Alright, let's just jump right in. So basically what I look for whenever I go thrift shopping um, for denim jeans is I'm looking for something that fits me nice and snug in the waist area not too tight, something that fits me on my lower back, and then also something that doesn't flare out around my butt. And as you can see here, I have put on the pants and measured out how long I want them. So I just drew a line and I'm gonna be cutting across there with my scissors. And don't forget, you can always cut more, but you can never cut less. So as you can see here, I am cutting a little bit under the white line, which is also a little bit longer than I would want them to be. Just because I have a habit of cutting off way too much. So try to prevent that. Think head. And here I'm just folding over that pant leg so I can cut a similar length on the other pant leg. So far, this is what we have. Um, this process is honestly a lot of trying on, taking off, cutting, trying on, taking off, and cutting. So that's where I'm at right now with this try on little scene here. And here I am um, adjusting more, cutting a little bit more off. This is not a very difficult thing to do. It is a little bit meticulous, um, depending on what you're looking for in a pair of shorts. So here I'm just trimming some excess off. Just not really anywhere in particular, just a little bit messy. And here is when the fun part begins. You always want to remember that if you have a pocket that's long, you want to tuck it upward so you're not cutting your pocket. So we're going to stick the cutting board under the jeans. And we are going to go ahead and start cutting. I have my knife. I would recommend a serrated knife for this just because it catches on the denim a little bit easier. And you just kind of start cutting. So depending on if you want it to be a full cut, a full hole, or if you just kind of want it to look a little bit distressed, is going to be how much pressure you apply. So right here, I'm going to be applying a little bit more pressure than normal, just because I want there to be a couple holes there. Um, I'm also just kind of cutting in any direction, 
um, just to kind of create that distressed look. There really is no crazy method to it. You're just literally destroying a pair of jeans. So back here, this is where you can kind of get a little bit of a peekaboo um, hole for your butt crease if you're interested in that. I think that's really cute and a little bit in style right now. And I'm just kind of fluffing out the area, cutting a hole there. Just really anywhere that you would prefer. These are your pants, obviously, so. This is a very repetitive uh, sort of DIY. It's not really that difficult, but it is really fun, and it's cool to tell people that you made your own pair of shorts, so. So this is where we are at right now. I'm going to do a couple close-ups just so you can see um, how it looks before we wash them. So you can see it, it does look a little bit distressed. Um, there's a little hole there. We got some distressing over there. And the coolest part is that once you put it in the wash and the dryer, it comes out as a new pair of shorts, which is super neat. That's really how you get it to get all fuzzy and fluffed out. Um, so this is what they look like before the wash. And here we are after the wash. So you wash and dry them. And as you can see, they do look a little bit fluffier. Uh, the edges are more frayed. The places that I kind of scuffed up are a little bit more frayed as well. And I really like how they turned out. I think they're really cute. Here's the close-up for you guys, just to compare before and after the wash. It's a little bit more fluffy. That completes today's little uh, DIY high-waisted denim shorts. These are what I came up with, um, and I really actually like how they turned out. But while I wear them and everything like that, they're going to get more torn up. They're going to get more distressed looking, um, which is what I like in denim shorts. I have a couple examples of other ones that I've made that I will insert now. Um, so like I said, I just like the whole distressed kind of look. I like looking put together, but not put together, if that makes any sense. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Hopefully that you were able to take something from this video and learn from it just a little bit. And I will see y'all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single view I get on my channel. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Have a great night or day wherever you are. Adios, amigas and amigos.